Hey guys, welcome back to Jermaine Morgan TV. Today I want to show you a cool way that I'm using the major ninth chord, so stay tuned. All right, so if you've been around, especially if you're a monthly member, you know over the last few weeks, we've been digging in pretty hard talking about chords, different ideas that we can pull away from using the chords and that type of thing. So what I want to do today is I want to show you a cool way that I'm using a major ninth chord over a dominant groove to get a really cool sound. So if you want access to this full lesson, just remember, click the link below after this video is done. So just say we're grooving in a key of E. Okay, so all I'm doing with this particular groove is I'm using that major nine. I'm using a, actually a D major nine. That chord, so we have the D major nine chord. Okay, and I'm building my lick. I'm doing what we call arpeggiating that lick off that D major nine. And how we get that, we want to think about the key that we're in. Again, we're in that E dominant that type thing and we just want to play a major nine over that E. It's pretty common to use that major nine sound when you're playing in a dominant key like that. So you'll hear a lot of guitar players build their rhythm, like what we call chucking or that type of thing. They'll build it around that major nine sound a lot. So we can take that same approach and it's more of a bebop type approach when we build a line with it. So it's like, uh, so I'm starting here. This is my, um, if to just say if the D is my one. If the D is my one, I go build off the seven first. And I just arpeggiate that full chord. One, three, five, seven, nine. And I can keep going with it. You know, back to that three, an octave three. And then I come back to that seven, back to the one, nine, three. That's all it is. And then I do my chords that we talked about, if you caught the lesson on last week, where I walk it up. Using those dominant chords, whole step, walk up. So again, what that is, build off that seven. Now remember, just, just in case you guys get lost, we're in the key of E, but we're building the lick off of the major nine chord, that's that D major nine. Okay, I'll show it to you one more time. Really cool. Straight to the point. It's one of those uh, type of licks you can throw right in the groove. It's up to you how you want to put and how you want to fit it in there rhythmically and make it work out. All of that is totally up to you. So take that link and go run with it. And remember, if you want more of this lesson, simply click the link below and we'll continue. 
Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And listen, if you enjoyed the content, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on my notifications so you can be notified each week once I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys being here and check it out. If you want more content like this and if you want to get even more in depth on the bass lessons, remember to head over to JermaineMorgan.net. There I have many more bass lessons. I talk a little bit more in depth on some of these subjects that we've covered here on YouTube. And I also have music. Most of you don't know, but I am an artist as well. So I do have music available there if you want to hear me really play. <laughs> I have music there. So check it out and I will see you guys on next week. Thank you. I'm out of here.